All right, y'all. I'm dripped up. Let me give y'all a quick drip check. So, y'all don't think I'm bullshitting, y'all. This whole fit from Fashion Nova, bro. Look. Except for the Vans. This whole thing. Fashion Nova. So, essentially, we're going to... Um, micro center to get me an SSD. We're getting the one terabyte Samsung uh, 860 Evo. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and install that bad boy and um, go ahead and get everything transferred over. And I'm gonna show you all the process of that. So yeah, we got a little road trip ahead of us. Yo guys, what's going on? <clears throat> it's Woofy FPS. And this is the time where I, I, w I really want you guys to really start paying attention. Um, because I've done this before, but a lot of you haven't. So what I'm about to do is I just upgraded to an SSD and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transfer all of the data on my HDD or my hard drive to my solid state drive or my SSD. Um, it's a fairly simple process. Just make sure you watch all the way through. Make sure you pay attention. Do not skip because skipping is crucial. I will also link the article down below where I'm actually getting this information for you guys. So if you don't feel like watching, you can go ahead and click down in the description below, but just to, I, I'd suggest watching just in case, cause you know, personal experience to personal experience, you know, you guys are, you know. All right guys, <clears throat> so this is the part of the video you really wanna start paying attention. Um, so in the case that you go to your file manager and just to show you here, there, you don't see the new SSD here. Here's what you're gonna do. I'm gonna go down to the windows and you're gonna type in disk management, all right? And the first thing that's gonna pop up is this thing that says create and format hard disk partitions. Go ahead and enter that or open that. So now what you're gonna see here is a bunch of stuff. You're, you're gonna be very, very confused. All you need to know is that this disk zero here, if you only have one hard drive, this is gonna be really, really simple for you. Um, if you have multiple, it might be a little more confusing, but at the end of the day, if you see something here that looks similar to what you bought, I bought a one terabyte SSD here, uh, or an additional one terabyte SSD. I unplugged all my other drives just to make this tutorial a little easier. Um, what you wanna do is you wanna right click on any anywhere in the space, you want to click new simple volume. You're going to be brought with a, a setup wizard. Next, you want to make sure this is the exact same number. So just to be safe, you want to retype it maybe 953852. Next. Now, because I already have a C drive, you want to make sure it's just the next thing in line. So we're going to keep it as um, D here. Next. Make sure it stays um, on this NTFS. Uh, I, I really don't know why. Um, I don't touch any of this either. Always make sure perform a quick format is checked. Always, always, always. So actually what we're gonna do is we're gonna name this one gaming. Or we're gonna call it OS slash gaming. All right, then finish. And now as you see here, OS slash gaming is fully functional. So if I do come here and I go here, as you see, it now pops up there. Now for the next part of the video, you wanna go ahead and open up that mini tool um, partition that um, it's gonna be the first link in the description down below. So once you come here, you can see a whole bunch of stuff here that's gonna look really, really, really confusing. When you're at the screen, just click Migrate OS to SSD. When you're met with this screen, all you wanna do is choose option A, unless you wanna keep the things on a separate drive, I don't know, for a backup drive, then you would click B. Otherwise, you wanna go ahead and click A because essentially we're replacing the content that is on my HDD and we're simply transferring it over to the SSD. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead, it's already gonna pop up here, um, only because once again, 
it is the only other drive that I have in there. And then all you want to do is click next. Um, all data on the disk will be destroyed. Yes. So now all it's doing is running through the partition wizard, loading everything, copying everything and putting it on the new hard drive. So just go ahead, let it do its thing here. Um, yeah, let it restart and I'll see you guys once it does. All right guys, if you see where it says failed to read disk a whole bunch of times, don't be alarmed. It'll eventually carry on here at the bottom. And as you see, this is for part one and it's already 5% almost halfway done so it will probably take a minute don't be scared if you see this it'll auto adjust itself just let it run um, don't stare at the clock go do something to take your mind off things yeah all right guys if you see where it says fail to read disk a whole bunch of times don't be alarmed it'll eventually carry on here at the bottom and as you see this is for part one and it's already five percent for almost halfway done so it will probably take a minute don't be scared if you see this it'll auto adjust itself just let it run um, don't stare at the clock. Go do something to take your mind off things. Yeah.